Hello and welcome to the Bob Box. Well, it's time to celebrate. Five years, guys. And now I'm going to hear about ringing for the rest of the episode. And how has five years been? Well, year five. Well, I moved locations to this lovely bunker. Got to talk about my favourite robot of all time. And of course, along the way, got to watch lots of awesome fights. Also, I ran out of Series 2 Heat B robots to talk about. And talked about the last of the three stock robots from Series 1. I think I burnt a chocolate cake for that, right? Today, however, it is to the realm of Series 9 of Robot Wars that we go, where we talk about silver coloured rear hinged low wedge flipper Rapid. The first robot introduced in Series 9, when they did the run through of the pits, the first robot they talked about was Rapid. Also, it happened to be expensive. Rapid, of course, landed in Hite, where it drew grab a jellyfish, which just wants to give you a hug. Axpot Terahertz and Flailing uh, Flay, uh, Flailbot uh, Nuts 2. Rapid's team also risked risked um, angling superstitious people by opening an umbrella indoors in their, in their little hero shot. Superstitions aside, it is not a good idea to open umbrellas indoors because you have a little folding umbrella when opened out can be as wide as two double doors. Yes, I speak from experience there. I, I was 11. Anyway. Rapid made a beeline for jellyfish right at the start, sending jellyfish flying. In fact, Rapid spent most of its time annoying jellyfish, um, because if it didn't, Terahertz would go after it to give it a good axing. How, however, a lot of the time when Rapid was going after jellyfish, it wasn't actually flipping it because Rapid's flipper took an H to retract. Then, after Rapid flipped, jellyfish for a second time it went off to let its flipper retract and in the process clamped one of Nuts 2's flails. Nuts 2 had was there with what I can only describe as a case of the Paulies. Um, Rapid then sent Nuts 2 to Matilda who just hit Nuts 2 hard enough to send Nuts 2 out of the arena. Rapid then flipped Jellyfish one more time before Jellyfish got stranded on what was left of Nuts in the arena, its mini-bots. Terahertz axed Rapid before Rapid spent the time in which Jellyfish was being counted out running away from Terahertz. So, Rapid got through to the round robin stages where it first faced Vertical Spinner Aftershock. Rapid flipped Aftershock early on, but Aftershock managed to self right using its disc, which I'm sure the Arena 4 people loved, and hit Rapid. Ultimately, it hit Rapid enough to flip it over. Rapid tried to self right, but it ended up stuck upside down with an open flipper, because Rapid just went oof, exactly in the same place it was before. Aftershock had a little sniff at uh, Rapid, but by this point, Rapid was just done. Now, ordinarily I would talk about another two fights here, but Rapid, as a result of that fight, had a jammed up gearbox. It was buried so deep inside Rapid that there was no chance of being able to find it and repair it in the two hour repair time. 
As a result, Rapid was forced to withdraw and Jellyfish took Rapid's place for the rest of the fight. In the second fight, Rapid would have fought Terrahertz. So, um, yeah, this did not actually cause Rapid to make the greatest first impression on me. Sorry, guys. Rapid returned for Series 10, landing in Heat C, where it drew robotic walkie-talkie teeth. Bucky the robot. Sorry, just teeth. Grab. And tracked Crusher Traction. Rapid also had uh, some nice gold painted sections on it. And a job offer for anyone who would actually need them. Rapid's first move was to set off the bug of war. The end result was Traction getting put by an arena spike whilst no one could see anything. Traction could still run upside down, it was an invisible robot. In fact, it probably ran a little bit better upside down than it did on it did right way up. However, it could not run anywhere in the arena after Rapid had got hold of it. Rapid rocked up and flipped to action out the arena. So that meant to fit that uh, Rapid had to face Bucky the Robot and its ungodly squeaking solo. And Rapid went after Bucky, well, why not? Hoping to tidy the arena by emptiness of robots. I wonder who Rapid would have gone after next. Tilda? Most of what Rapid did was nudging, but it did get a flip in and left Bucky eating the arena wall. Seriously, arena wall, Bucky. Like that. Bucky managed to get back in, uh, back in the arena. Not that it really left, it was just on the edge. And it did manage to get a flip at one point. Bucky also hit Matilda and was flipped by the arena spikes, and only the fact that time ran out not long afterwards actually saved Bucky from being knocked out. And that sent the fight to the judges. They ruled in favour of Rapid. So that sent Rapid straight to the heat semi-finals, no robot redemption required here, where they faced Traction again. Traction having come through the robot redemption in dramatic fashion. Rapid flipped Traction out of the arena in 5.6 seconds. The record for the fastest fight ever prior to this point was held by gravity. That record now belongs to Rapid and only Rapid. Not shared by anyone, it's Rapid's record. Talk about living up to your name. So that put Rapid in the heat final, where it faced Terahertz one-on-one -on -one for real this time. And for those who don't know and didn't see Terahertz's episode, Terahertz was actually my heat winner prediction for Heat C. I didn't have Rapid in my top three. Um, heat C was bad heat for your host here. And I haven't even talked about the second place prediction yet. Rapid sent Terahertz to the floor for her mutual Terahertz took a little trip on Ip via the floor for her. As once wasn't bad enough, Rapid sent Terahertz right back to the floor flipper. This time Terahertz landed upside down, but it could self right with its axe. Rapid tried to get Terahertz to stay upside down by pushing Terahertz into arena walls. Rapid ended up losing its anti axe. Well, it didn't end up quite losing it, but it was mostly gone. It was in a very precarious position, that anti axe armor. It still got Terahertz, now righted, to dead metal. Terahertz escaped only for Rapid to push Terahertz around the arena again. Terahertz did axe off Rapid's anti axe armor, though. So much for that! So Rapid sent Terahertz to dead metal. 
Once Terahertz was free, Rapid tried to flip Terahertz out of the arena. Once their flipper retracted, Rapid made Terahertz play again and dodged an axe blow in the process. Terahertz tried to chase Rapid only for Rapid to end up being the one chasing. And they chased Terahertz to the floor flipper where it got flipped again. Rapid then sent Terahertz to dead metal only to become the bot attacked both by the house robot and terahertz. So Rapid sent terahertz to dead metal one last time, and once both robots were free, Rapid flipped terahertz out of the arena. Rapid was now a grand finalist. Rapid's first fight in the grand final was against Flipper Eruption, fresh from winning the 10 robot rumble and drum spinner magneto. Rapid's target was Eruption, presumably in a bid to stop Eruption from using its hang back and let everyone else take each other out tactic. A tactic that historically works very well for Eruption. However, this meant turning its back on magneto, which is never a smart move. Then again, Rapid was in a tactical no-win situation. Whichever robot it targeted, it was playing into the other's hands. Magnetar turned Rapid over by hitting it two times, and did so with quite some force. Rapid self righted with a backflip, a double backflip, that would have scored it high marks in robotic gymnastics. However, this came at the cost of Rapid's flipper bungee cord. That which Rapid uses to retract its flipper. Yeah. Once righted, Rapid had to escape from dead metal and found itself the target of Magnetar and Eruption's attacks. Some at the same time before Rapid settled on Eruption as a target. But after missing a flip, it flipped itself and just about landed on its wheels, it just balanced and then it went dunk. Meanwhile, Eruption took on Magnetar and returned to Rapid after finishing with Magnetar, which was having self-writing issues. Rapid sent dead metal on a rampage by releasing a rogue house robot, but both flippers got attacked. Oops. Eruption then flipped Rapid, who, whilst trying to self right landed like this. Aren't you glad I didn't do that with an actual book? I felt that slap book lovers. This is the better way of doing this than using an actual book. Ha a side note, don't put your books in this position. Bad idea. It damages them. Anyway, end the tangent. Rapid ended up in Robot Redemption versus Horizontal Bar Spinner Carbide, the defending champions. Um, no, no, you heard that right. This is the grand final, mis amigos. Easy matches do not exist here. Rapid had little hoops on, on the right hand side, little plastic hoops, which lasted uh, about five seconds against Carbide's bar. Rapid had taken Carbide for a ride first, trying to take Carbide to shunt for good axing before Carbide slipped away. Rapid then tried to flip Carbide out of the arena. If Rapid had been a foot closer to the wall, Carbide would have sailed over. Sailed over the wall and out of the ring. It would have been awesome. 
but Carbide stayed in the arena. It landed upside down, but Carbide's invertible. That, that's no big deal. Carbide hit Rapid's left hand side, removing a side panel. Rapid got one last flip in before it started out leaking vast quantities of ominous smoke. Rapid drove around before taking one more hit from Carbide, which oh, it killed it. Though it wasn't the last hit entirely, Carbide did hit Rapid a few more times as it was being counted out. After cease was called, the ominous smoke became a full-on lithium polymer battery fire. Which Rapid's team took remarkably well. I mean, that is going out in style. Now, this is the point where I would say that Rapid returned for the following series, Series 11, but that implies there is a, there's been a Series 11 for me to actually talk about. It hasn't happened yet. Come on, people. Bring back Robot Wars. After Series 9, Rapid could have just as easily been the Mortis of the reboot. For those who aren't too familiar with the original run, Mortis was another robot that was known for its, its expense, but it had high expectations placed on it. Expectations that Mortis never quite fully lived up to. Rapid did not follow in Mortis's footsteps. For me, the grand final kind of redeemed Rapid. The team took going out in flames very well. I mean, they it, it was going out in style and they took it as such. It's certainly a memorable way to go out. Having said that, they probably would have been redeemed in my eyes had they got Carbide out of the arena. I'd have probably said, holy crap, they just took out the champion. And I, by that point, I predicted Rapid to come joint third. Okay, we didn't live up to that it, that prediction, but I'm not Mystic Negs. The only, the, the it has it has um, two flaws. One, that it's just too powerful for its own good. If it ends up upside down, it's, it it self righted successfully once and most of the time it had self right it ended up upside down again the other floor is the flipper took an age to retract and that those are things that could be improved on but it proved itself to be an already pretty good robot as is Personally, I think Rapid's team should try for BattleBots if they haven't tried to already. I mean, I could enter another flipper. BattleBots didn't have that many flippers. I could count them on the fingers of one hand. Come on, guys. Anyway, as I look to year six of this, this vlog, I am going to make a little rule change. The list of here contains the names of heavyweights from side events or special episodes that never made the main series. Now, prior to now, these robots would be eligible for this vlog, but they're all in now. Also in this spot, in, in this tub, is this slip for the Behemoth Addendum episode. For those who don't know, I didn't I didn't talk about all the Behemoth fights when I did this episode because I got Behemoth. I pulled Behemoth's name out of the slip the day after it made the grand final for the first time, which is it's just extraordinarily bad look on my part. I didn't want to risk talking about spoilers, so I did not put Behemoth's grand final run in the episode. 
and also it was an inc incomplete run, it was in progress at that point in the time stream. So, every single one of these is now going here. So now, how do I get any one of these robots for the next episode as we go into the six? Indeedy we are. We've got D. Until next week, Carlson244, out.